The Witches, a fascinating story about a little boy, his grandmother, and their encounters with a grand high witch, queen of all the witches in the world. After an unfortunate car accident resulting in the death of his parents, a young boy is sent to live with his grandmother. It is there that she warns him of the danger that witches pose. He has never met a witch before, so she begins to describe what one looks like. Witches are always women. And they are also pleasant-looking people. But they are not pleasant. They hate children and want to get rid of all of them. These are the ways to recognize a witch. A witch will often be found scratching her head. This is because she is bald and wears a wig. She will only take it off at night when no one can see her. She may also walk with a slight limp due to the fact that witches have no toes and must force their feet into tight, pointy shoes to fit in with everybody else. She also wears gloves to cover up the cat-like claws that are where her fingernails should be. She has slightly larger nostrils in order to smell out children. They also have icy soles. You can tell by looking into their blue eyes. After his own small encounter with a witch, where he came away without a scratch, thankfully, this boy and his grandmother go on holiday to England for a couple of weeks. They stay in the most magnificent hotel. The boy gets rather bored, and so he decides to go and teach his two pet mice different tricks. He hides out in a room that has been reserved for a meeting later that afternoon for the Royal Society of Prevention of Cruelty to Children. He figures there will be no harm in playing in a room that people of people that love children. Soon, the women begin to enter, and they lock the door. Fortunately, the boy was hiding behind a curtain as the woman, woman was in charge started telling the women to take off their wigs, their gloves, and their shoes. He's in a room full of witches! The witches begin to learn about the new plan that will get rid of all of the children in the whole world by turning them into mice. They put the Formula 86 Delayed Action Mouse Maker into chocolate and then give pieces of chocolate to all of the children that they see. <laughs> a few hours later, that would turn them all into mice. <gasps> to demonstrate, they ask a boy named Bruno, who has been staying at the hotel, to come and eat a piece of chocolate. Not suspecting anything, Bruno comes to eat the chocolate and, to his own great surprise, gets turned into a mouse. <gasps> They are just about to end their meeting when they discover the boy hiding behind the curtain. Because they hate children and he's heard all of their plans, they turn him into a mouse too. This boy, who is now a mouse, goes and finds his grandmother. He tells her the whole story and they come up with a plan to get rid of the witches. Because he is a mouse, he can slip in undetected to the Grand High Witch's hotel room. He steals a bottle of the Formula 86 Delayed Action Mouse Maker from underneath her mattress. Then he takes it to the kitchen, and when no one is watching, he pours the whole bottle into the soup that the witches will be having for dinner. The witches eat the soup, and they start turning into mice. The hotel manager is very mad and orders cats and mouse traps up the wazoo. After turning all of the witches into mice, the boy, the mouse, and his grandmother discover the location of the Grand High Witch's Castle in Norway and head off on new adventures to eradicate all of the witches in the entire